Hi there, Taylor here. Just thought I'd share this email that I got from the CAS today. Uh, they sent out sample questions for MAS1. So, you know, taking what is typically an in-person exam online, uh, or I'm still not sure of all the specifics, but they're giving out some practice examples so we can become familiar. Uh, I would say it's pretty similar format to what P and FM was like, but I thought I'd share because there are some differences. Uh, so this is just the layout of the page and we'll jump into it. Um, so it starts off with a tutorial and uh, just all the standard things. There's going to be pop-ups, you get your options. Um, there are no examples of this in the sample questions we'll get to, but apparently it's possible to have two separate windows pop up for a problem. I, I feel like I don't anticipate seeing this. I don't think we have any questions that require an entire separate page, but uh, that's included in this walkthrough. Uh, time remaining is always showing up in this top right corner, so if in the exam that's where you can look to keep an eye on things um, in, in case you don't have a clock, I suppose. Do, 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 do. Page number so maybe keeping track of which question you're on in the top right. Uh, now this is really the, the biggest thing um, for me that we'll get to is the scratch pad and the formula sheet. Uh, but this page is just saying if you hold control and then you use your scroll wheel or the plus and minus sign you can zoom in, zoom out as needed. And then navigation we've been using up to this point, so obviously we know how to click next. Also, we'll get a calculator provided, so uh, we still get to have a calculator in person. We don't have to use this calculator, um, but I think this is definitely nice. I don't need to go buy a second calculator. I can just use this if I need multiple calculators to like store values. And then scratch pad. So this is. I, I think the most exciting thing. It is a really distilled version of Excel. So when we get to the examples, I'll open it up and navigate it. But I I feel like there will probably be one or two questions that can really be simplified because you have essentially Excel. And you could probably guesstimate some answers by uh, brute forcing something within Excel. Uh, so I'm hopeful that that's a uh, having access to this will hopefully improve my score on at least one or two questions. Uh, the one thing I'm not excited about, so the formula sheet that will eventually open up uh, as opposed to getting a printed out version, I personally like having that on paper to flip through, um, but uh, instead it's going to be a pop-up that you can select. i got to scroll down. so. Uh, another nice feature is you can, as you're going through the questions, uh, highlight things and um, do different formatting. So in some of my walkthrough videos, I talk about, you know, underline this keyword so that way you don't forget that there are multiple steps to a problem. So I think this is going to be really nice to remind you of that. Then also, similar to PNFM, you can flag questions for review. So you can select an answer but still flag it so that way when you get to the completion screen you can um, see if there are any questions assuming you have leftover time that you want to look over again. Apparently if you don't scroll to the bottom of the page to see select the next button to continue uh, the program will yell at you. Um, and then using the review sc screen so this is you don't have to wait until you've gone through all the questions. At any point, you can click on this review button, and you'll be able to see which questions you've answered, which you haven't, which you have flagged, and so on. Um, and then eventually you'll say, in review, because I'm done with the exam. And then the end exam screen. So now we're going to jump into this. Uh, they use a few questions from uh, the previous uh, fall 20, 2019 exam. Um, so we're going to begin this fake exam here. So again, pointing out some of the features, we got this highlight up here. So 
in this question, um, I want to highlight the word memoryless. So I'm going to highlight it and then click this button. And so now that's highlighted for me. Uh, so that's nice. And then, you know, if I go to the next question and then come back, it's still highlighted. So definitely like that feature. Um, you also have strike through if you think something's extra information. You can cross it out. Uh, and the calculator, here it is as a pop-up. So you can do math. Pretty straightforward. Um, again, scratch pad is what I'm most excited about, so you can definitely use this to take notes if that's what you want. But I think the real benefit is going to be coming into, you know, I just think if you, if they had this for exam FM, that would uh, change everything because <laughs> there are so many for, uh, questions you could just brute force if you have Excel. Um, so just want to show that there's a lot of the same functionality. It's not all there, but I'm going to say this times that, and then you can still use dollar signs to lock the cell value like you do in Excel. Um, so anything if with like compounding interest. Uh, I, f I forget which exam it was, um, but one of them, in one of the final questions, it asks you to do a time series, and it, it was just like plug and chug, and then you had to do it over the course of like 15 years. And it was a really easy question that was just an absolute time waster. And if that question showed up and we had access to the scratch pad or Excel, uh, it, it would make things really simple. So even if it doesn't change how you do some questions, I imagine there will be a few questions that you can definitely do a lot faster because you have this Excel as a tool. And then also I feel like I'm personally less prone to make mistakes using Excel uh, versus like handwriting stuff. And my handwriting's terrible, so sometimes I mix up my own numbers. So definitely excited about this feature for the exam. Uh, and then, yeah, flag for review so I can make sure that uh, even if I answer the question, um, that I will still remember to review this question if I don't feel super confident about it. Next, in the bottom left corner, we have our tables. And so this is just what you typically would get as a printed out packet for the exam. Um, so it's, it's the same content. The one nice thing about this, although I would prefer a printed out form, is, I tested this out earlier, that you can do control F. So if you want to find a distribution, uh, you're able to do that. So here we have the generalized beta. So. Uh, I think the last component really is the navigator. So like I said, you're going to see all this when you uh, get to the end of the exam and you want to submit your answers. But at any point, you can get a quick overview of where you're at during the exam. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. We still have time remaining in the top right corner, so this is uh, going to be a lot more than 30 minutes when we get to the actual exam. Uh, the one thing I don't know is whether or not we're going to get an immediate response to our whether we passed or not. My anticipation is that they won't tell us, but uh, it would be really nice if they did that like they do for P and FM. So I'm not going to take the time to go through all the questions themselves. I plan to eventually make videos of the fall 2019 exam, so at that point I'll you'll be able to review those videos, but just want to walk through the interface we're going to be working with when we actually sit for this fall 2020 uh, sitting of MAS1. Uh, and here we are. So this is just the final screen. Apparently you can go back to the instruction page uh, and then you can review all those that you have flagged. Um, so yeah, I think that's all the features. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time. If you find this video helpful, please let me know. This is different than my traditional walkthrough, but it was uh, exam related, so I thought I'd share in case you didn't get this email or update and yeah please consider subscribing if you find this type of video helpful and thanks for taking the time have a good one